Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. I'm your host, Lee Zen. Today we'll be covering creating EKS clusters in just a single line of Python. We're showing off our new multi-language capabilities where uh, we can actually use existing libraries in Pulumi uh, with other languages. So this original EKS uh, library was actually built in uh, Node.js. You can see here I'm importing in Python and uh, I installed the dependencies and all that's needed now is just to write the single line Pulumi EKS cluster. I'm gonna export the qconfig, run Pulumi up, and you can see that it proposes to create all these different resources. Uh, I say yes, and away it goes, creating all the different resources. Now, uh, we're gonna actually use this uh, uh, cluster we're creating to actually deploy some things into Kubernetes. So we'll first start off by creating a namespace. Uh, and you can see here, one of the cool things is I'm using the provider resource off of that cluster. So I'm actually, I'm actually telling uh, the Kubernetes uh, resources to use that Kubernetes provider provided by uh, the EKS cluster. So I have the namespace, I'm gonna create a deployment. Uh, I'm just gonna fast forward through here, uh, just you know, setting up all the things that I need for the deployment. Uh, and then we're gonna wait for the cluster to complete. So you can see uh, the cluster is done. Uh, it took about 14 minutes uh, to create everything. And uh, now we're going to deploy our Kubernetes resources. So I run pulling me up again. And uh, it's gonna you know, deploy the namespace and then deployment. And we're actually gonna run to an issue here, uh, as you'll see, because uh, I didn't specify a selector. And so pretty clear from the error message what I have to go do, I'm gonna go back and edit my metadata to add uh, the appropriate labels and selectors. So here we go, adding the labels uh, into uh, the various places that, uh, you know, to kind of clarify how it should look. You can see I can refactor the code very easily uh, to, you know, use a variable there. And then I'll, I'll just make sure that I have the selector specified. So now when I run Pulumi up again, uh, I can actually hit uh, yes. And now this time my deployment will succeed. So that's all well and good. Uh, how do I actually uh, see uh, what's going on on, on the uh, cluster? I can just use kubectl. Uh, you can see I actually took that kubeconfig, uh, exported it uh, into this file and run kubectl. Uh, and then now I'm trying to get deployments, but obviously uh, there's nothing in the default namespace. So let's actually go and export the namespace. We did that. Now we can actually use that variable. Uh, and here we go. Uh, there's our deployment. So yeah, really just in a few simple lines of code, uh, it was super easy to get an EKS cluster up and running and then deploy our Kubernetes resources to it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday, and we'll see you next week.